Hey guys, it's raining a little bit today. Uh, showers on and off, but I have sales coming on. They're ready to put in nukes later this week, so I got to get this brood moved up above excluders. Now, this yard in particular uh, is a little bit light so far from what I'm seeing. Um, they don't have the forage that the yard three miles down the road has so uh, these bees could have benefited from another feeding or two but um, that's something that you learn and you mark uh, in your notes and try to do better with next year so I know this one it's probably going to need more feeding than the other new yard down the road so just got to continue to try doing better so most uh not most, but a lot of the stronger ones, I'd already put a second deep on them. Not all of them were ready for one at the time, but they're coming on pretty good and look pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and split them anyway. That way we have a little consistency going in the, in the bee yard. Got my smoker going with some pecan con holes in it smells wonderful so I'm not looking for the queen really don't care if I see her or not had really good bee coverage when I popped the lid earlier and then again when I popped it for y'all so I got a good amount of bees in here oh they've propolized that feed her in really good now this is an ideal weather to be working bees they do not like the cloudy weather they don't like the rain and they sure ain't gonna like me shaking them off the combs but I have to do it so now Pretty good frame of bees. Look like they're getting some nectar in. You can see that nectar shining. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Pretty decent feed frame. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this for my nukes because I'm gonna feed this parent hive. So this, this parent hive, it's going to get fed. All of them are going to get fed after I pull the nukes off of them. I want feed frames for those nukes because I don't like feeding the queenless nukes until they get going with a, a round of brood. So it's uh, primarily open larvae on the back, but it's it's pretty big curls. So they'll seal that over soon. Uh, they're sealing more over this. It's a little bit light on food stores, but it'll work for getting a queen mated and pulling them bees up for my split. Now I said I wasn't looking for a queen, but I sure would like to show you her if I find her, and I did. Because who don't like to see queens? Everybody likes to see queens. You can see her there running. Well, not really running. She's looking in sales, sticking her head in. Bees stick on the frames pretty good. I can't stand runny bees. But she's searching her out a good place to go. She's a good looking queen. She's a little bit skinny looking, but she's long. She looks like she's doing a pretty good job. It's a good frame of brood, but this is theirs. And she's on it, and she's going to stay on it. So I ain't worried about shaking bees no more. She's over here on the side. Got a good frame of brood. Just going to move it over here. Mm -hmm. 
I'm getting them a little worked up because it's so windy and dark and I feel like another rain's fixing to come on and they know it too. Good frame of brood. So there's me three frames brewed up. Good frame of brood, number two for them. And I'm aiming for three frames brewed in the bottom and then give her back empty combs. Because she don't need no more than that. Let's see what this is. This little patch of brood, little pollen. I'm going to take this better, this better frame. This open frame we'll give back. Now she got three frames brewed, y'all. See what we got going here? She's over here on the wall. I pulled up four combs. I'm going to give her back drawn comb. If you have drawn out comb to give her back, then they're going to jump and come right on up. Now, I, I wish I drove my other truck with my feed, feed tank on it, but I didn't. But when I come and pull this brood off, I'm going to feed these. I'm going to feed the parent. Now, I've got them pretty stirred up, and rightly so. Queen excluder. Remember, guys, this little wire here on the bottom, that goes down. So it's this side up. Now, y'all see, I got food frame, I got three frames brewed. I ain't put nothing else in here except maybe a couple foundation frames that I had. And that's just because I had it out and I'm not giving it back to the parent. And it's just for the bees to collect onto. Now, I've found that when I just put them up here like this, I get better bee coverage. They're not on frames that I don't need them on. And I'll be coming back to this within a couple days. So, and obviously, these bees, they need some food. So there's there's not a honey flow going on or nectar flow rather going on. So I'm not worried about comb getting, getting pulled up. Now, I need my other feeder. And the ones that I moved brood up on, I mark them with my feeder that I pulled out of the second one. That way I know these are the ones that I'm coming back to. So this is how I like to do it when I'm grafting and I have cells. I'll go through. I'll pick. See they're hanging out where I shook them. I'll go through. I'll, I'll put three frames of brood to the side for the, for the queen. I'll give them comb if I have it if I don't they'll get back foundation and they'll get fed um, and I'll do these to all the hives that can take it the ones that cannot take it will get busted down and dissolved as a colony because they're really not representing the kind of bee that I want in my apiary because I'm working towards consistency so that's the way I do it that's my system then I come back through all surplus brood uh, it may not be one nuke per box. It may be two nukes or whatever. I'll go through and I'll take uh, the brood frames out with the with the bees on it and try to give two brood and one food to each nuke box. Take them to their site. Uh, of course, I have two foundation in there as well because they're five frame boxes. Take them to their site and then I'll put a queen cell in them. So I hope you guys... Uh, 
learned something from that or found it interesting at any rate. And I'll catch you later.